Hello my friends from Sporting Bet, how are you doing? Another weekend of uh, exciting football, starting with what it is, the biggest game in world football, as my colleague Scott uh, Minto calls it, the sexiest game in world football, which is of course a classical. It feels a little bit strange, it feels like it's a little bit too early for it, it feels like there's not a pattern to the season yet, and although you would see uh, Barcelona that has won every single point available this season, yeah, including the Champions League and a Real Madrid that um, started poorly, but then of course have improved, especially after that victory against Manchester City. You can tell that uh, they both inform. That's would be that would be the assumption if you look at the stats. But I've got the impression that not only Real Madrid are starting to look like the Real Madrid of last season, uh, Madrid that uh, pressures high and aggressively and recovers the ball and quickly they counter attack. And then when they scored the first, they go for the second, for the third, for the fourth. We seen, we saw that last season. We seen that this uh, this season. We seen it this season as well. Barcelona, on the other hand, the points are there, but there's few things going on in the team, football-wise, football stories. One is, of course, on one hand, you've got Cesc Fabregas pushing the team one way, and on the other, Xavi Hernández pushing it another way. We're talking about a player in Cesc that likes more direct football and one in Chavi that lo loves the passing and the pause. So when they coincide, it doesn't always work. Uh, added to that is the fact as well that uh, Mascherano and uh, Song will probably be the centre-backs as Bartra doesn't seem to be given a chance yet. And you've got a problem, especially with Song as a centre-back. He hasn't learned the what he has to do as a centre-back yet. He took Mascherano a year or more and he's already saying, or he's saying now that Still haven't learned it. So we're talking about a reconverted midfielder that I'm playing enough as a centre back and against Real Madrid that could be very dangerous. I wonder if Tito Villanova will put Busquets as a centre back instead and perhaps Song as a midfielder. We will see, but the football of Barcelona doesn't reflect exactly the, the points in a way. The football of Barcelona has been in fists. They have to come back from behind in four occasions. 2 0 against Sevilla, for instance, it was before they actually turned around to a 3 2 victory. And all in all, that comes that uh, you know there were mistakes being made, chances given to the rivals, and when Real Madrid has got those chances, they take them. They take them. Of course, Real Madrid won the uh, Clásico in the league last season uh, at the Camp Nou, where this this one is going to be played, and the Super Cup this year. It was a victory for each, but the the double value of the goals away meant that Real Madrid won it. It was a two 0 at uh, the Santiago Bernabéu, and it was a three two at the Camp Nou. It just looks like Real Madrid now know how to play Barcelona. It looks like uh, they are not afraid to uh, to have a go in their own way, which is counter-attack football. And Barcelona are not avoiding and, and stopping the um, the transitions from the rivals in the way that they used to last season. They Or, or two seasons before, because I think some of the problems we've seen with Tito's team uh, appeared last season. I'm saying problems and people say, well... The points, but it's something else. It's something else that um, against bigger size they will they will struggle. As I say they did against Sevilla, even though they turned around and they turned around because they're very very good. But it wasn't down to the way they played. It was down to the quality of the individuals. That's not the one to hold them. So I think Real Madrid will win the Clásico, and things will turn around after that, and perhaps get close to Barcelona. Still got the impression that Real Madrid will win the league. We will see, but. Don't forget to watch it. It's uh, from 6.30 in Sky Sports on Sunday. And we'll all be there, of course. Take care and enjoy it. Bye-bye.